Colligative property, the relative lowering of vapor pressure. So the formula to determine the molecular weight would be M2 is equal to W2 M1 upon W1 delta P into P1 degrees where P1 degrees is equal to vapor pressure of a pure solvent P here is the vapor pressure of the solution of a non volatile solute which should be present in the same solvent delta p as you know is p1 degrees minus p which is the relative lowering of vapor pressure w1 is the mass of solvent this should be in kgs w2 is the mass of solute this two should be in kgs m1 is a molecular mass of solvent m1 this should be in kg per mole and m2 that we calculate is the molecular mass of the solute which two is in kg per mole the second colligative property is elevation of boiling point this can be calculated by using the formula to determine the molecular weight m2 is equal to kb w2 by delta tb into w1 where kb is the molar elevation by the ebullioscopic constant delta tb here is the elevation of boiling point w1 is equal to mass of solvent in kgs and w2 is the mass of solute in kgs m2 is the molecular mass of the solute used in kg per mole the third colligative property depression of freezing point this can be calculated by using the formula to determine the molecular weight m2 which would be equal to kf into w2 the whole upon delta tf into w1 here kf represents the molar depression by the cryoscopic constant and delta tf represents the depression in freezing point
W1 is equal to mass of solvent in kgs. W2 is the mass of solute in kg and M2 is molecular mass of the solute in kg per mole. The fourth colligative property is osmotic pressure. This can be calculated using the formula to determine the molecular weight M2 is equal to W2 by pi into RT by V. Here pi stands for the osmotic osmotic pressure R is the universal gas constant which is 8.314 joules per mole per K or you could write it as 0.082 L ATM atmospheric per mole K per K T stands for the temperature V is the volume of the solution W2 is mass of solute in kgs and M2 is the molecular mass of solute in kg per mole. Question 1. A small amount of non-volatile non electrolyte solute is dissolved in 56.8 cm cube of a benzene where density is 0 0.889 gram per cm cube. At room temperature, the vapor pressure of the solution is 98.88 mm of mercury while that of benzene is 100 mm of mercury. Find the molality of the solution of the solution. We have four options given A.144 B 14.4 C 1.44 D 0 0.100 That is 0.1 So first we find the mass of a benzene which is equal to volume into density where volume is given as 56.8 cm cube into and the density as 0.889 which we get as 50.495 grams now we find the moles of benzene which is equal to the mass of benzene upon the molecular weight of the benzene mass of benzene is given as 50.495 upon Molecular weight is of benzene is 78. When we solve this, we get 0.6474. Now we find the number of moles of a solute. We have molecular mass from a lowering of vapor pressure that is formula P0 1 minus P upon p01 equal to that is p degree 1 minus of p p degree of 1 equal to n2 upon n1 where p1 stands for vapor pressure of a sol solvent and p stands for vapor pressure of a solution where n2 stands for number of moles of a solute and n1 stands for no number of moles of a solvent so we substitute the value we have P1 as 100 minus P as 98.88 upon 100 which is equal to N2 we have N1 
that is moles of benzene 0.6474 we solve this we get n2 equal to 0.007251 so we find the molality of the solution so for the molality we have number of moles of solute upon mass of solvent in kg we solve this number of moles of a solute we got as 0 0.007251 upon mass of a solvent in kg we have 50.495 into 10 raised to minus 3 we solve this mass of a solvent this is in kg so that therefore we solve this we get 0.144 therefore our answer matches with option a that is 0.144 therefore option a is a correct answer question 2 elevation of boiling point was 0.52 degree celsius when 6 gram of compound x was dissolved in 100 gram of H2O molar mass of X is where KB that is molar elevation of water is 0 0.52 degree celsius per 1000 gram of water we use molality that is formula molality which is equal to number of moles of a solute upon mass of solvent in kg we can write this as mass of a solute that is x into 100 that is into 1000 upon molar mass of solute into mass of solvent in grams we substitute these values we get m equal to 6 into 1000 upon m into 100 we have delta T B equal to K B into M. The delta T B stands for elevation of boiling point and K B stands for the molar elevation. We can substitute the value of M in this. We have delta T B given as 0 0.52 degree Celsius equal to K B is given as 0 0.52 into 6 into 1000 upon m into 100 which is the value of m we solve this we solve for m we get 0.52 into 6 into 1000 0.52 into 100 we solve this we get equal to 60 so therefore the molar mass that is m of x is equal to 60 which is our answer matches with option b therefore option b is the correct answer Question 3 A 5% of solution cane sugar which molecular mass is equal to 342 is isotonic with 1% of solution substance X the molar mass of X is we are given 4 options when 2 solutions are isotonic and the osmotic pressures are equal that is pi 1 equal to pi X assuming that T constant and solution is dilute 100 gram solution has a volume of 100 ml where density of water given as 
वन ग्राम पर सी सी वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ पाई वन एंड पाई एक्स दैट इज एन वन आर टी अपॉन वी इक्वल टू एन इन टू आर टी अपॉन वी वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू इन दिस वी गेट फाइव अपॉन थ्री फोर्टी टू इंटू वन अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो जीरो इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एम इंटू वन अपॉन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो सो इन दिस वी गेट एम इक्वल टू दैट इज मोला मास थ्री फोर्टी टू अपॉन फाइव वी सॉल्व दिस वी गेट सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फोर ग्राम पर मोल विच इज our answer matches with option b therefore option b is a correct answer question 4 how many gram of kcl should be added to 1000 gram of water so that the freezing point reduces to minus 10 degree celsius where kf for water is equal to 1.86 degree celsius kg per mole kcl undergoes we have given four options in this kcl undergoes complete dissociation in water the reaction is given as kcl k plus plus cl minus therefore one mole of kcl dissociates to form two mole of particles therefore we get i equal to 2 where i stands for wentoff factor so we have delta t equal to i into k F into M, where Kf stands for molar depression. We have given Kf is equal to one point eight six degree Celsius kg per mole. With delta T, equal to zero minus of minus ten, which is equal to ten degree Celsius. therefore we substitute this values that is i delta t and kf where we can find small m we get 10 equal to 2 into 1.86 into m where we get m is equal to 10 upon 2 into 1.86 which is equal to when we solve this we get 2.68 mole per kg therefore the molar mass we get as 2.68 mole per kg so grams of kcl which is equal to 2.68 into 74.5 we solve this we get 199.66 gram per kg where 199.66 Gram should be added to one kg of water. Therefore, one ninety nine point sixty six gram is the answer, which a uh, answer matches with option D. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Question five: Which one of the following electrolytes has the same value of Van der Waals factor I as that of Al two SO four three if all are hundred percent ionized? Considering hundred percent of ionization of given species, Al two SO four three dissociate as two Al plus three SO four to two minus. Thus, one molecule dissociate into five particles. in the similar way k4 fe cn 6 also this k4 fe cn 6 also gives five particles per molecule by dissociating as 4 k plus plus of fe Cn six four minus. Therefore, therefore Al two SO four three gives us five.
particles same as KF4 FeCN6 gives us 5 particles by dissociating therefore our answer K4 FeCN6 that is option D is a correct answer.